we're going to do a little thinking about adding and subtracting decimals. And the main reason we're going to do this is because really, once you get into high school, you're going to increasingly be using your calculator more and more to do calculations. So I'm less worried about whether you can actually do long, complicated calculations with decimals by hand and more concerned that you understand a little bit and can really get a good feel for what's going on when you're adding or subtracting decimals and have a good sense of whether the number your calculator pops out at you is correct or not. Let me show you what I mean. So if you were asked to add these two together and you're going to do it using your calculator, I'm quite fine with that. But before you use your calculator, I want you to get an idea of approximately where the answer is going to be. And so what we're going to do to do that is we're going to round each of these numbers to the nearest whole number so we get a sense of the size and then we will have an a sense of approximately what our answer should be. So rounding this one here to the nearest whole number, we've got a comma 2 and so we know we round down then and we're going to have it rounded down to 80. And here, this one, if we look at what comes after the comma, it's a 1 and so obviously we also round down in this case and so this is going to round to 4. And so what we know here is that this number is about 80, this number is about 4 and so our answer will be approximately 84. So when you pull out your calculator and do it, you know that you're expecting an answer somewhere around 84. So if I'm asked to consider something like this, whether this subtraction will end up with an answer less than 40, I can just think about it a little bit to get me to an answer. You see, if I have a look here, I can see that this number, 6,7635, is just a little bit less than 7. And I can see that this number over here is just a little bit more than 47. And so I can think to myself, I've got something that's a bit bigger than 47 and I'm not even taking off a whole 7, so I'm definitely going to be more than 47.